Um, it's very scary stuff that's happening in our country right now, in Canada and in the U.S. And like I said before, in every Anglo-speaking uh, country, Ireland, U.K., uh, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, U.S., name the other countries, okay? All the other countries are being literally invaded, literally invaded physically by, by like, to the tunes of millions every year. And uh, the physical makeup of a country is changing. And now the digital digital makeup of our countries are changing. So uh, we in the West have an ex existential threat. Um, and it's our government and its policies. Like our, the existential threat of Western society is Western governments. Um, two on that. Ronalog says, just discovered your channel this evening. Thanks for tuning in. What is your focus? Well, Wagons West, the focus is... Western culture. Uh, Ronalog and anyone else that doesn't know, I'll, I'll take the opportunity to introduce myself as uh, a photographer and cinematographer. And I like to cover things that uh, are, uh, I like to promote and preserve uh, Western culture. So rodeo, farming, homesteading, hunting, uh, Western politics. These are the things that interest me, the things that I like to cover. And when it comes to this show, I like to talk about some of the issues uh, and challenges facing Western society, whether it be a war on masculinity, whether it be encroaching socialism and communism, whether it be politics, whether it be farming, whether it be homesteading, hunting, growing your own food, whether it be uh, you know the rise of AI, whether it be investing in gold, silver, Bitcoin, whatever the case is. Uh, I like to cover all those topics, and I you know I want to bring knowledgeable guests uh, to you guys. Because I'm certainly not an expert. I'm a, I'm a bumbling, uh, meat-headed idiot sometimes, I think. But uh, I do have the good fortune of having a network of people and friends that are much smarter than I and that are experts in their respective fields. And so I look forward to uh, tapping into that network and bringing these guests to you so that we can, uh, we can kind of uh, hear from them and hear from the actual experts on these subjects. Um, what, what they have to say. So that's kind of the focus of my show, Ronalog. I appreciate you asking and I appreciate you tuning in. And guys, do remember that um, every Thursday, every Thursday from 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and I stress 6 p.m. Mountain Time because I am in lovely Alberta, the greatest place on earth as far as I'm concerned, uh, in the hellhole of Canada. But we are as David Parker said, and he'll be my guest again on the 21st of March, uh, said Alberta is a city on the hill. And uh, it's there's there are pockets in the U.S., but in Canada, Alberta is it, man. Uh, maybe you have Saskatchewan that can join along, but there's no one else in this country that's fighting for freedom like Alberta is. And uh, we, are, we are leading the way in Canada for freedom of speech, for freedom in general. And are we perfect? No. Um, do I love our government? No. Um, I have a couple of good friends that um, that work in government that are doing the best that they can with their portfolios. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the UCP is not they, – they made a lot of good moves. Danielle Smith has made some good moves. Um, I just don't know if what she's doing is enough. And once again, I hope that – I look like an idiot at the end of the day. I want to be the stupid one that doesn't know what he's talking about because she's amazing and does everything great and Alberta prospers. And I really hope that's the case. Uh, I really, really, really do. Uh -huh.